I was going stone. Um, talk about your, your childhood, if you could, growing up as an MSU guy, and then obviously committing to them before you decommitted. Yeah, uh, it's actually just a crazy moment just being able to prepare all week and play Mississippi State. Um, I grew up Mississippi State fan, was committed to them in baseball for a long time. Um, you know, they were kind of just my childhood dream team. Um, so it's really a surreal moment just to come here and be able to play them. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. So how much family are you going to have here this weekend? <laughs> it should be a good bit of family and friends. Um, it'll probably be 20 or so. And how would you kind of evaluate your first three weeks starting and what do you feel like you've done well and what do you feel like some things you can improve on? Yeah, I feel like um, I'm able to identify plays pretty quickly um, and, you know, get myself in the right spot. I think I need to get better at finishing plays, um, just finishing the plays out. Um, you know, I had a few missed opportunities. Um, and then just being smart, um, not taking that hit on the quarterback, stuff like that. So just be smart, kind of settle in, um, calm down a little bit. So you put a lot of snaps through these first couple of games. Just what has that been like stamina-wise, kind of adjusting to being on the field that much? I love it, honestly. Um, you know, if you're coming home on a Saturday night and you wake up in the morning and you can't get out of bed, you know, you did a good job. Um, and so kind of, I kind of love that feeling is just being beat Sunday and then, you know, recover, recover, recover and get back to it Tuesday and then beat yourself up again. So I love that process. And, um, yeah, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love being out there. Stone, going off from that, obviously the linebacker room is very thin. And as you mentioned, you're getting a lot of snaps out there. How have you been able to continue to adjust with that? And on top of that, how have you seen guys like Pup Howard, you know, trying to continue to come along as they try to provide that depth for you guys? Yeah. Um, like I said, I really enjoy being out there. Um, I think Pup is getting better every single day. Pup and Bam, uh, Bam Martin Scott's another guy that we can we can put in there. Um, they're just they're just keep building confidence for them, um, just to be able to provide the depth that we need. Um, I think Debo played, you know, almost every single snap. Um, I got 12 plays off, I think. So we're definitely going to need them towards the um, back end coming in the SEC play now. Um, you need more depth than that. You can't really maintain that um, as much as I want to. Um, you know, it's a physical game. So I think with them, it's just building up confidence, confidence and, uh, you know, know where to be. You talked about how much just you've grown from these challenges of North Carolina and Georgia. What about just looking at the group as a whole, just how much have you seen the guys around you grow so quickly here at the start of the season for this level of competition? Yeah, I think we've done a great job, and I think it all starts with practice. Um, practice makes um, everything a lot better. Uh, if you practice really hard, the games are a lot easier. Um, I think practices on Tuesday are a lot harder than they are um, than the games on Saturday. You know, obviously there's, you know, differences, but – just conditioning wise, we run a lot. We do a lot of stuff. We're working very hard on Tuesdays. And I think that makes it easier on Saturdays. And a lot of the guys around us that I've seen have just started to practice harder and harder and harder and a lot more focus into our practice. And that makes the games better and helps us evolve and get better. Stone, going back to the flip, what were the conversations like between you and Coach Arnett and Coach Lamonis when you told them your decision to come here? Um, it was pretty hard to do um, because I did really like that coaching staff. Um, and so it was it was an extremely difficult decision um, with football and baseball because um, baseball was a huge factor for Mississippi State and uh, as well as over here. Um, but I had a really good relationship with Coach Lamonis and Coach Arnett. And so that was kind of a really uh, hard decision and hard conversation to have. Uh, but they wished me luck. Uh, you know, they wanted the best for me. So it was good. How strange is it to you or is it strange to you that, that Mississippi State's offense is – so much different than, than what it's been under Coach Leach. Is that kind of, I guess, different seeing, seeing on film a, a team that likes to run as much as they do? And yeah. Stuff? Yeah, it's a lot different um, than last year for sure because last year, you know, they run the ball maybe five, ten times, and now they run the ball. You know, I think Mark's had 28 carries one game. Um, so there is a huge difference flipping, flipping across. But, um, you know, I think that's a more fun game for us as linebackers is, is a run heavy team. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I know they're going to be, you know, powerful guys in the backfield uh, that can run the football really well. And we're just going to do our best to contain it. TJ and Debo were talking after the game Saturday about how they feel like this defense has kind of found its identity after three weeks. What do you think the identity of this defense is? I think it's hard nosed, gritty guys. Um, you know, we want to get to the ball really fast and we want 11 guys around the ball. Um, we always practice punching the ball out. 
that's something we take pride in is getting to the ball, trying to force turnovers because turnovers come in bunches. So once you force one, they keep coming. So just workhorses. Stoney, you were recruited to play in that three three five defense. What are some things that are unique about that kind of defense with three linebackers on the field at almost all times? And what kind of challenges does that present for this offense especially? I think they mix it up a lot um, with their bringing pressures and cross dogs and stuff like that with their linebackers. I know their linebackers are phenomenal uh, with Jet Johnson and Buki Watson, I believe, those two guys. Um, they've done a great job last year and this year. And I know um, – you know, they do a lot of sideline to sideline. They blitz a lot, get pressure on the quarterback, stop the run. Um, they're just very active. I think that, you know, for them, um, playing a 3-3, you know, you have less D linemen on the field, so you have more space to cover technically for linebackers. So you're kind of free to make a lot of tackles. Appreciate it.